Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here. It's been a while since I made a video, so I do apologize for that. I've been very busy with finals and just all the schoolwork and stuff, um, so I, I apologize. Uh, I'm sure nobody really cares, but um, I'm hoping to do videos, you know, first, especially through Christmas break and stuff. I mean, just, just video after video, so you guys will just get sick and tired of my face. Um, but... We're going to be talking about some big, actually some big news, I, I would think. Um, news I, I think a lot of people really don't care about, but they're kind of surprised that this is actually happening. Um, 205 Live, I think, when the Cruiserweight Classic happened, it was one of the best times in WWE Wrestling in a long time. The Cruiserweight Classic, I thought, was so fun because uh, it was something, you know, that really hadn't been done before. They brought in all these unsigned wrestlers, had them compete in a tournament, we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know if people were going to get signed or just what this was all about. We didn't know if they were going to come over to Raw. Uh, it was just so exciting. Then 205 Live happened. And I personally have never seen an episode of 205 Live. I've never watched one. And I just think, I, I haven't really heard like good things. Like I feel like I would have watched it by now if I had heard people been like, oh, dude, it's awesome. But um, People, it, it's it's really weird on Raw episodes when the fans, the crowd, whatever, will be into it. And then uh, we'll be into what's happening on Raw. And then as soon as they put up those purple ropes, or they got rid of the purple ropes, as soon as 205 Live guys came out, the crowd just could care less. And I don't really know why that's really happened. I mean, I, I, booking-wise, yeah, because WWE could care less about the 205, guy, 205 Live people, and it just seems... Like, they go nowhere, and it's it sucks when guys like Neville and Hideo Tommy are going, they're going to be stuck in that division. So, I feel like people would like it a lot better, and I made this idea, or would like it a lot better if they weren't stuck in this division. I had this idea a while ago, I remember saying it in a video, um, basically having people not just stuck in 205 Live, but have the 205 Live episodes, you know, be about who's fighting for the championship, and then on Raw, those the cruiserweights can face just anybody. But you can still have the 205 Live show and just have the cruiserweights fight for the championship, number one contendership, or feuds. But if they're on Raw, I don't think you should do another just all 205 Live match. I mean, you already have your own show dedicated to it. It's only an hour, but still, why not just have the 205 Live guys face off against uh, just random people on the Raw roster and have, like, dream matches? But... The whole point of this video, 205 Live, I talked way too long about this, 205 Live is doing live events. They'll be doing three live events in January, January 19th, the 20th, the 20th, and the 21st, I believe that's right. It's in uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and then New York, um, and that's pretty surprising. And I've seen a lot of people say this is a really stupid and a really dumb idea, and I've seen other people say, wow, I'm going to buy tickets, it's going to be awesome. Personally, for me, I probably would not go to this just because i've been fed up with the last few wwe events i've gone to i i, I remember i've the last two i went to survivor series and then i went to a raw a few months ago and i remember after the raw show i said to myself i tweeted i was like i'm probably just gonna do smackdowns and pay-per-views because um i'm just bored and it's just not that great um i'd rather just watch tv and skip through the boring stuff then I went to Survivor Series, and I was very disappointed with Survivor Series. I thought it was an okay show, but for a pay-per-view, man, I was really pissed off, especially the main event. So I, I, I think I'm done with going to WWE events, and let's just say these 205 Live events came even near me. Um, I don't know if I would go. I probably wouldn't. If someone told me, oh, yeah, it's fun, and I could see them being actually fun. Honestly, I know people are like, dude, have you seen 205 Live, the show on the network? It kind of blows. But... I feel like they can make this, you know, fun, fast-paced, you know, kid-friendly, you know, exciting comedy spots and stuff. I bet they could make it fun. It'd be exciting to see these, you know, young, uh, awesome talent, these high flyers that can do great stuff in main events. You know, it's obviously it's their own show, so it's kind of easier to be on the main event. But I think it could be fun. But I would, I basically, I want to ask you guys, and please let me know in the comment section, like, are you interested in going to a 205 live event? Would you actually want to go to that if they came near you, came to your town? Would you actually go to it? Like, would you be excited? Or do you think you'd just be like, nah, screw that? For me personally, I'd probably miss it. I think I'm only going to do independent and ring of, like, ring of honor and, you know, uh, like TNA if they ever came, but they never would. I'm probably just going to do independent shows from here on out just because I think it's a more fun environment and it's just exciting. It's more exciting, I feel like. WWE, I feel like the past few events I've gone to have dropped the ball. Um, 
But who knows? One day, I'm sure a big event will come, and I'll be like, I have to go, and then I'll, I'll end up regretting it, and then we'll just go back in that cycle. But 205 Live has their own shows. Um, I don't know if they're doing a full-on tour. From the article before they announced this, I saw an article where it said like that was what, was what they wanted to do. But these are just three live events. And the article that announces three live events, it doesn't sound like it's a full-on tour you know, throughout. But I think that's what they're going for. Let me know. Would you do that? Would you go to the 205 Live? Or does that get you excited or whatever? But yeah, 205 Live, I think have on Raw, have them just face whoever. And then 205 Live, have them versus the other cruiserweights, fight for the championship, you know, make it special. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 rocks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm hoping, I say this all the time, because when I go on a little hiatus or whatever, a break from YouTube, I hope I can continue doing videos throughout, and especially during Christmas break. When school's done, boom, I'll be, I'll, I, I hope to do videos every day. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and enjoy Raw tonight if you're watching it.